chef my name is Sonali and this is my shoe chef Moomin. Hello. So today we're gonna make arugula flatbread and it's a quick and easy recipe super easy I've been a student at UVic so I'm just trying to think of different recipes that are easy to make and quick and still tasty so um, Moomin is I, gonna... Yeah I myself am not the best chef but I mean I'm here to learn um, and so I'm super excited to learn how to make this uh, um, a very healthy dish I see. Yes, it's healthy and vegetarian. This dish is vegetarian. Um, a lot of the, some of the ingredients, well, the tomatoes in particular, are from my dad's garden. Um, and we'll show you more about those later. And aside from that, um, it should be pretty quick and easy. It takes about 20 minutes to half an hour to make. And let's do this. Wow. Okay, up. so we're just gonna quickly run by our ingredients here. So over here, we just have the arugula. And um, these are just mushrooms. They were already pre-cut. I got from the grocery store. Um, this is just butter, um, just cut up because we're going to be using it uh, multiple times to saute the mushrooms and for the onions. These are the garden tomatoes I was talking about. Wow, so these are made by uh, in uh, Bengali Babu's uh, garden? Yes, they are. <laughs> and uh, these, this is just cilantro cut up and grinded. Uh, this is just all, uh, garlic that we just cut up as well. Lemon for the top and the garnishing. Here is soy sauce, teriyaki sauce, and balsamic for the topping for the, uh, for the flatbread. Mm, all right. And the salt and pepper we might use for the um, mushrooms and the seasoning, yes. Perfect. All right, so where do we start? So we're actually going to start by making the garlic butter to put on top of the flatbread. We're doing this before we put the toppings on it just to add some garlic flavor. Mm. So to do that, I'm just going to get a little bit of butter. Okay. Now you might have to use your hands. So you brought down the temperature? Yes, sure. low temperature at first. All right. I'm just using this to cook the, the garlic a little bit. And you want the garlic to cook. Now, as you do this, you can add some more butter because we want a lot so you can be able to dress the entire flatbread. Okay, that's easy to remember. Now, this will later on bring flavor when you're gonna be adding your other products in, when you add your, your mushrooms, your, your onions, it's still gonna be kind of in the pan already so you can use that. So this shouldn't take too long because you don't want to burn the garlic, but you just want it to give the butter flavor. Okay, so I can see the, the garlic getting a little bit golden. Exactly, so that's when we're done with it. Perfect. We're just going to put this in the bowl and we're going to use that in a bit. Okay, so now basically what we're doing is we're gonna make the uh, the sauteed mushrooms. All right. So for this is actually, you the, we're gonna leave that in there. Oh, so you don't switch out the pan? No, that's because the, the garlic in the pan and the butter is already gonna add flavor to the next for the sauteed mushrooms. Oh. So you're gonna put it in, you're gonna put a little bit of butter. I put low heat in the beginning. Mm -hmm. So just some butter. And you're gonna add in your some mushrooms. Okay. Okay, however many you want. That seems about good for two flatbread. And we're just gonna add a little bit more butter just because we want them to be very we'll buttery. Exactly. Oh, okay. So you, you want them to cook thoroughly. So you'll let it seep in a little bit. And I want them to be a little bit more buttery so that they're more um, moist when they're on top of the flatbread. So I'm going to actually add a little bit more butter. All right. You know what? I'm actually going to grab this and um, I want to look a little bit like I'm a really good chef, guys. So let's see. Zoom in into this. Learning from Sonali here. All right, Sonali, 
How do you know when it's ready? So perfect. So now I'm just going to add in a little bit of teriyaki actually. Mm. So I'm just going to get around, around a teaspoon of teriyaki. And I'm going to see actually if that's, you kind of have to look at it and see how it is that you want, how much flavor you want, depending on how much teriyaki you like, how salty you want it. Mm. Um, I usually put in one or two teaspoons. So right now it's just one. Okay, so you just, you know, put one teaspoon and see how it is. And see, exactly. Okay. So I like that, actually. Yeah, it's looking good. So we're going to let that. I'm going to increase the heat to about four. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're actually going to add a little bit of soy sauce. So again, you can use the same spoon. It's all going in the same thing. So mm -hmm. you're just going to add around a teaspoon, actually let's say two teaspoons of soy sauce onto the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And you can actually stir that for me. Sure. Thank you. Okay. Stir that. And is there any other ingredient that you put in uh, to your mushrooms to what do you call this? Saute? Uh, just a little bit of pepper I'm going to add in while you're stirring it. Okay, go ahead. Awesome. And just stir it up. Now, to see if it is actually um, ready, mm -hmm. you just want to make sure that if you are to just kind of cut into it with your um, with your spatula or whatever that you're using to mix, that it, it breaks off easily. If it doesn't, if it's a little bit sturdy, then you just wait a little bit and keep mixing until it's um, it softs and okay. exactly. Perfect. So these are almost ready, maybe a minute or two. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so now we're just gonna put the mushrooms in here. Um, and we're still, again, gonna use the same pan for the onions. Again, it's okay that there is the soy sauce and the teriyaki sauce, everything that's in it is actually fine. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Again, it'll give flavor to the onions. Okay. So we're gonna use that again, butter. Uh, we're gonna add a little bit of butter to caramelize the onions. So that's fine. No big deal. Again, just going to put a little bit of butter at the bottom. Allow the butter to melt a little bit. And look, these are all the spices, all of the, the soy sauce, everything seeping in with the butter. It may look alarming, but it's actually totally fine. Wow. It's going to add flavor. And we're going to add our onions. So because we want to caramelize our onions, which means makes them a little bit sweet, we're just going to add a little bit more butter and onto the onions. And then we are actually going to add something quite unique. Ooh, unique. So Moon, do you want to stir this for me? Yeah, sure. So what is this unique ingredient? We are actually going to add balsamic vinegar to the onions. Oh. Perfect. I'm actually adding another spoon of butter. Lots of butter in this dish, but it can be substituted with whatever you'd like, with a little bit of oil you could use. Um, yeah, I can't believe it's not butter, margarine, whatever you like. I like using butter, but just because I like my, my food a little bit more, I guess, fatty. But however you prefer is however you can, whatever you want to substitute, you can. Mm -hmm. Kind of not bad. They're starting to soften up and that's what you want. You don't want them to be crispy onions. You want them to be kind of soft. Okay, so for the mushrooms, I, you said that you kind of try to split them. How would you know for the, for the onions? So we want them to be kind of golden. Ooh, okay. So you go for color. Yeah. Alright. Awesome. So it's about time almost to add the balsamic vinaigrette. Um, the balsamic vinaigrette I use is actually, a, could be a salad dressing, but it's versatile. You can use it for anything. Mm -hmm. But the one that we're using today is actually a balsamic vinaigrette salad dressing. Oh, okay. Perfect. And you can kind of smell that the onions are being cooked. Yes. No. Oh, I do smell the many flavors. Oh, the little ingredients that was still on the pan. Perfect. And now we've added in just a little bit, probably around tea to two teaspoons of balsamic vinaigrette. 
Perfect, and I'll take over if you don't mind. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. And I'm actually gonna let that sit for a minute. Tiwari SRS Panorama Reality. Tera sala tajurbakar apki apni realtor. Kya ap apni property drop prices me bechna chate hain? To aaj hi Neelam Tiwari se price evaluation karein. Aur agar ap apartment ya condo kharina chate hain, to hamare paas behtereen prices me khub surat properties majood hain. Six zero four three zero seven seven two five five. Meanwhile, we're just gonna put the Moomin. Can you do you mind stirring this for me while I do the next sure. step? Sure. No problem. Perfect. So meanwhile, we are going to use the garlic butter that we made for the um, flatbread. So just as a dressing. So, and as you can see, the garlic is like golden and the butter is just going to add a little bit of flavor when we put the vegetables on top. So I'm just going to do, this is movement, but I'll do this part for him. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. And you just want to use it just like that. Okay. And how are the onions looking? Let's see. Well, looking pretty good. Perfect, so they're almost done. I would say maybe two or three more minutes of just stirring and they'll be good to go. Right. So meanwhile, while Moomin's doing that, I'm just gonna grease this pan. Um, you could use anything again to grease. You could use canola oil, olive oil, butter. I personally um, have been using butter. I'm just gonna stay consistent. I'm gonna use the same butter and just grease this pan. So we're going to 
grease the pan. After we grease the pan, you can pla place both of the flatbread onto the pan. So now that our onions are caramelized, our mushrooms are sauteed, teriyaki saute, onions are caramelized with the balsamic vinaigrette, just to catch you guys up a little bit if you're just a little behind. Now I preheated the oven. Now my secret is before it actually preheats, I'm actually just gonna let the flatbread go inside on its own just so that it can um, absorb, um, the bread can get a little bit crispy as well as absorb a little bit of the garlic flavor. All right. So we're just going to put that in just for now. The oven is still preheating, but that's okay. And use gloves. <laughs> okay, so the oven is still preheating, but it's almost done preheating. So we're just going to take out the flatbread. And we're just going to put it on these coasters so it doesn't burn the table. Mm -hmm. And make sure you use gloves again so you don't burn your hands. So now that you have the flatbread here, now we're gonna actually just start adding our ingredients. We're basically, for the most part, almost done now. So what we're gonna do is just add the arugula first. So Moomin, actually, I can let you do that. Sure. So you can just add arugula evenly on both of them. All right, so evenly, how much arugula do you put? Come into the you shop. Just let me know if I'm putting too much or not enough. Is this a fair amount? Nope. Nope. All right. So I'll do this one. Way more. Okay, I see. <laughs> so yeah, well, you'd be a little bit generous with it. It's gonna go in the oven, so even then the arugula is gonna cook a little bit and it'll lose its flavor. It's pretty powerful. Mm-hmm. And that's good. All right. Okay, so now that we have our arugula, that's our base. Um, now what we're gonna do is actually just start adding our other ingredients. I like to add just a little bit of the garlic that we cut previously, just like maybe two or three, a little bit just to add some garlic flavor in the in it, a little bit extra, just because the garlic butter does the job, but not enough. Mm -hmm. But that depends on your taste buds, if you like garlic or however you like it. Now, what's next? We're gonna put the caramelized onions okay. on the. So I'm actually gonna let you do that too. Okay. So again, uh, you can be generous with it, but maybe not too much. Again, depends on your preference of onions. I I like a lot of these as well. Okay, so just spread it out. Mm -mm. Spread it out a little bit like that. Exactly. Perfect. Is that a good amount? Yep. And then Perfect. I'll do the other one. It actually might be easier with a bigger spoon mm. or tongs. Yeah. But this works. Definitely. Add a little bit more on this one. Okay. On yours. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now what's next? So now that we have our onions on it, we're actually going to get some of our sautéed mushrooms. Mm -hmm. So again, just apply them however many mushrooms, however much you like mushrooms, depending on them. if they're going to cut it, serve it for a whole bunch of people, if you want it for yourself, depending on that. So you can always divide it, put mushrooms on half, not the other half, but I like to put, again, I'm pretty generous with the mushrooms as well. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, I love the mushrooms as well, so you can... Go ahead and just add a lot on all, yours. All, a lot of mine, yeah. Okay. Perfect. So now that we have our mushrooms on and our caramelized onions, the flatbread with the garlic butter on it, a little bit of garlic that we put on top of it, we are now going to add tomatoes. So these are again the Bengali Babu tomatoes that he really wants us to shout out. So <laughs> we're gonna Organic. do that. And they're organic, yes. Yeah, yeah. So these were actually how they were before, just straight from the garden. We just cut them in half. Um, and we're just gonna use that to garnish it and as well as obviously add some flavor. Um, all of these ingredients on their own may not seem um, like they go together, but eat, they go together to get really well, all of them. The, the arugula, the tomatoes, the mushrooms, everything really complements each other. Mm. Yeah, hey, it's really looking great. Look at it. Many, like so much color. 
Then we get all our nutrients in. Um, we have a couple other things to add, but we need to put this in the oven first before we add the other ingredients. The other ingredients, we want them to be cold and also we don't need to cook them exactly yet. So we're just going to put these in for now. Cook the flatbread. Um, there's no exact time for how long we're going to cook the flatbread. It really depends on how crispy you want it and how you want your vegetables to be. Because again, it's all vegetarian, so everything's already cooked. So we're just going to put the put this in. So do you want to put it in actually? All right, sure. Where you might want these. And so we just have to keep have a, keep an eye on it. Yeah, probably around five to ten minutes. Um, everything again is already cooked on top of the flatbread, so no worries. Just put it on the top rack. Perfect. Okay. And now we're just gonna wait about five to ten minutes, and then we'll show you guys what to do next. All right. Okay, guys, so this is just a flatbread recipe, but we will have plenty of other recipes that we'll be showing you guys depending on what you guys like. If you have some suggestions, you can definitely email us. Um, there are different, many different things. If you want something that may take longer, some quick things. We just kind of want to show you guys different recipes that are quick and easy to make or stuff that maybe nobody's ever heard of. Um, again, this is a recipe that I kind of took from cactus and somewhere else and somewhere else and I just kind of created this the the food that I like and use that to create something that's more personalized but how did you feel about this you know, one? I really love this actually it's really fast easy look really easy I learned a lot today um, so yeah it's definitely different um, I, this is definitely my first flatbread make uh, making my first flatbread so thank you Sonali I'm sure I'll be adding this to my uh, few dishes that I can make. With toast and cereal. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so awesome. And then aside from that, if you guys have any suggestions, you guys want to um, maybe even a different version, if you want to come hop on the show, whatever you like, you can just let us know. We're definitely open to, to people joining us. Okay, so the flatbread should be about done. Yes, it is. All right, so how do you know it's done? Honestly, like I said from before, it really depends on personal preference, what you like, how you want your vegetables cooked, if you want it more crispy. This is exactly how I like it. I don't want the arugula too dry, but it's perfect the amount. The, the tomatoes, again, they're very, um, they're still tomatoes, you know, they're not dried out. Again, you still have your caramelized onions, your sautéed, so now it's kind of the mixture of the, the spices and the blends and the vegetables are all kind of now within each other. They've become one now. Mm, and are we done? No, we're actually not done. Oh, what's next? So we have just a couple of things. Now, again, this is due to personal preference. Um, goat cheese is actually really um, crucial in this dish because the goat cheese, I feel like, puts everything, ties it all together. So you just want to take some goat cheese crumbs. So they're just crumbs of goat cheese. And you want to just kind of put it throughout the whole flatbread. Mm. So Just a lot of people finishing touches exactly. Mm. So a lot of people love goat cheese. A lot of people are not sure about goat cheese, but goat cheese really complements this dish really well. So you just want to use this goat cheese, perfect. Mm -hmm. So is that enough for you? Do you want more? Um, yeah, just a little bit more. I love my goat cheese. Okay. Mm, that's perfect. Awesome. So now what I like to do is I like to add a little bit of garnish, not only to make it look pretty, but also just because I love cilantro. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit of cilantro, just a very little bit, just going to sprinkle it on with my goat cheese hands. And then Moomin, you can actually sprinkle that one. I'm sure. Very wow, little bit. Do. Okay, just a little bit. Yeah, little, little, little bit of cilantro. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And then last but not least, um, the garnish or the lemon we mm -hmm. just put on again. Squeeze it on. Yeah, it's just a little bit of lemon just to add a little bit of tang to the, to the flatbread. And lastly, actually, we have to add our balsamic vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. So again, you can just put it however. This is again a salad dressing, but you, whatever balsamic vinaigrette, just evenly put it on depending on however much you want. Mm -hmm. And just put it on there. Finishing touches. Yes. Okay.
Okay, guys, so this is our end product of the flatbread. Ooh, it looks really good. It does, doesn't it? Actually, it looks better than I thought it was going <laughs> to turn out. But we actually got a special guest just to cut it and to try it for us. So without further ado, the Bengali Babu. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for inviting me to your show. You're welcome. This does look really good. I know. And, and your your tomatoes are organic. Organic. The okay. Bengali babu kitchen, you know, kitchen and the garden. Nice. So we grow and then we bring it here and then we cook. Exactly. Yeah. This, so this try it. <laughs> okay, go. <cool>. Okay, <laughs> all right. Let me show you cut. Oh. That's nice. Thank you. I actually have a problem cutting the flatbread, which is why I needed him. Look at that. Nice. Okay, now I want you to try some. I would absolutely love to. Here, so Moomin, would you like to try it too? I'd love to. Okay. So let's give one to you. Mm -hmm. I think this is my first flatbread. Really? Oh, really? Yeah, I don't think I've ever had it. Well, there you go. Thank you. I'm okay. more of a samosa guy, you know? Okay. <laughs> All right, okay, so let's go for the final test. I want to try it too. Oh, mm. man. Mm, mm, mm. That is really delicious. Mm. Just juicy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess the mix of all these sauces, the garlic and everything. You like it? Goodness. Yeah, I, I would definitely give this 10 out of 10. Nice. It really came together well. And that's coming from Bengali Babu. Oh, no. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching Ultimate Chef. Please tune in next time. Remember to send your suggestions if you have any. And hope you enjoyed this flatbread recipe. Mm -hmm.